Today is Black Women's Equal Pay Day, a day where we recognize that Black women are paid on average 61 cents on the dollar of a white man. That is unacceptable. And we've had a lot of great discussion today, different hashtags, different statistics and information sharing. But what I've seen that's been lacking is a conversation on policy. As we are in the middle of a Democratic primary, we have an opportunity to pick a candidate that cares about this issue that will take tangible steps to solve that issue. And that candidate is Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris outlined a very detailed and pragmatic plan back in May that was held across the board as being innovative and uh, on the forefront of making progress on this on this wage gap. And this is particularly important for Black women that we're recognizing today because it costs Black women and Black families almost a million dollars over the course of a lifetime on average and lost earnings. And so we need to take action on this. We need to take policy action, macro action on this. It cannot just be each person individually having to figure this out on their own. So that's where Kamala Harris's plan comes in. One of the most important things that Kamala's plan does is it shifts the burden on proving that there is wage discrimination from the employees to the employers, okay, big corporations and corporations of a certain size are going to have to report the wages that they're paying people. And they're going to have to prove that they are not discriminating on the basis of gender. And when there is proof that they are discriminating on the basis of gender, they will be fined. Okay, there will be consequences. They will have to pay up for their discrimination. That is not what's happening in the current system. And so that is an important part of Kamala's plan. Another part of it is, you know, uh, ending some of these mandatory arbitration agreements. You know, when you sign up for a job, you need that job. You don't have time to negotiate the particulars and things like that. And these arbitration agreements are locking people into very burdensome contracts and things like that, making it harder to enforce the, the laws that are put in place to protect us. So it's really important that as we have this discussion today, that we take into account that there are tangible steps that we can take. One of the best steps that we could take we got to select a candidate who's going to do something about this. Kamala Harris will act.